This is Dr. Andrew Jones. In this edition of Veterinary Secrets, I'm going to be discussing kennel cough and actually show you what it sounds like. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. In this section of the video, we're actually going to be discussing kennel cough. Unfortunately, one of my friends, Luca and Kendra, they happen to have a dog, Roxy, here who's picked up kennel cough. I get lots of questions about it in terms of what is it, what, it, what does it sound like, and because she's actually got the signs and symptoms now, this is a real good chance for you to actually hear it on video. All right, so a little bit about kennel cough. So it's called kennel cough. It's actually infectious tracheobronchitis. And what it is, it's a combination of potentially four or five different viruses uh, in combination with the bacteria called Bordetella. So most common would be a dog that, for instance, goes to the dog park. More likely, they're going to somewhere like a kennel where they're already in a stressed environment with a lot of dogs in a small space. And one of the adjacent dogs in the area is coughing and he's going to cough up some of this virus. It might be a virus canine influenza might be para-influenza, along with the bacteria Bordetella. And it's aerosolized, so it's spread within the air. It can also be spread on objects within the air, and it's easily transmissible. So for someone like Roxy, a pretty typical course of the disease is somewhere between seven to 14 days, we're gonna be coughing. Um, but they do say your dog can actually be infectious for up to two months. Um, most dogs are only infectious while they're coughing, but some can go on for a long period of time. Like, if your dog is still pretty alert, like Roxy is here, she's still eating, she's still drinking, then that's a real good one to actually just do some of those sort of simple remedies at home, as opposed to seeing your veterinarian. But if your dog is clinically quite ill, where you know they're not eating, they're not drinking, they appear pretty lethargic, they're not very active, they probably have a fever, then it could be progressing to something like pneumonia. And then you should be going in to see your veterinarian and likely getting your dog on an antibiotic. For most dogs, it's, just sympt it's pretty symptomatic like Roxy, she's coughing, similar to us having some type of a cold, and you can just symptomatically treat it. So as far as what kennel cough sounds like, it sounds like a real productive cough that will happen pretty much any time your dog is excited, they're moving, they'll get up and it happens acutely or all of a sudden you know, where they've been fine the day before and then they just start to cough and it sounds like they're trying to cough or bring something up. So we'll just show you on Roxy here. Come here Roxy. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Good girl. <clears throat> so as you guys can probably hear, she's, you got that real productive cough where she's trying to bring something up and she can't. And a lot of people would come in where they think their dog has got something stuck in their throat. And that's what it sounds like. She's got something in there she's trying to bring up. But what it is, it is, is just the combination of the virus along with the bacteria. Her throat is especially irritated. She's lost, there's this thing called cilia, which are these little tentacles that line the airway that, you know, keep debris out of the airway. And, you know, they're, they're currently dealing with infection, so they can't work properly. Hence, that's why she's trying to cough, like she's bringing something up. So as far as treating her, so if you've got a, a dog symptomatic like Roxy, who's still pretty alert, eating and drinking, then there's about five different things that you can consider. Um, for most guys, about three basic things. First of all, if they have a collar on, take off their collar. You don't want anything restricting the throat that's going to irritate their airway. The second thing is using humidity. So if you've got a humidifier in your house, great. If you don't, you can just go ahead and put your dog in the bathroom, turn on the hot shower. And that extra humidity does a great job in terms of soothing the airway, just making her less symptomatic, wanting to cough a lot less. And you can easily do that two or three times a day. The third big thing, which I use a lot, is honey. And for some dogs, 
It could be as simple as something like Roxy, you're looking about a tablespoon. For a dog about her size, she's about 80 pounds. Um, you could do a tablespoon two to three times a day. Some dogs will lick it right off on a spoon. Other dogs, uh, you're, you can try. You can mix it in some lukewarm water, you know, about a quarter of a cup of lukewarm water. And maybe you might have to squirt that in via syringe after they've eaten. But honey does a really good job of one, just coating the throat. It's antibacterial as well as being anti-inflammatory. So symptomatically, it's a real good option for any coughs, but especially kennel cough. And there are also are there are two herbs in particular that I, that I want to mention. Um, one is called dandelion. So you'd be using the dandelion leaf and you can use that as a tincture and, and it's a really good diuretic. So what it'll, it'll do is help take away some of the fluid. So a lot of dogs respond to dandelion if you're going to use that as some type of tincture. And then the last one I want to mention is if you've got a dog that's starting to become even a little bit sicker or worried about them having a more serious infection you've yet to take them into the veterinarian. You could use something like Oregon grape root. You could use that as a tincture as well. Um, so for both of those herbal tinctures, you're looking at doses of about a half a mil of the tincture per 20 to 40 pounds of body weight, given that twice daily. Um, and with the honey, you're looking at doses of about a teaspoon per 10 to 20 pounds of body weight, doing that two to three times a day. So thank you guys for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. Thank you, Roxy. Thank you, Luca, for getting Roxy to cough. You actually guys know now what kennel cough sounds like. <laughs>